G'day guys, Matty from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping here. I forgot to put in the video a quick snappy of the setup. So, Victron Multi Plus 12 3120. That's programmed for lithium at 100 amp charge rate, split over the 570 amp hours worth of lithium. Um, and that's obviously got the automatic transfer switch inbuilt. Down the bottom there is the 5100, so that's the 50 amp solar controller for me. I'm running two strings from the roof into this so it's about 60 voc going into it two strings that one up the top there's the uh, dc to dc charger from the vehicle's anderson plug so that'll give me 30 amps um, from the vehicle while i'm driving if i want to those two puppies there are the cymarine shunts they're uh, running on the positive as you can see which is the beauty about them i'm running this is a two channel because i can link them one's for the dc charger one's for the solar so that's maxed out and the bottom i've got my lighting circuit i've got a dc charger um sorry i've got my solar controller set up through it on the side for portable setup also got my you know standard circuits that run in this van through that one as well one's a spare which i'll probably put for a diesel heater or a gas heater later on now over there is the smart shunt i've got the cymarine larger shunt as well so i can monitor total on the cymarine there's the two 240 solar king jobs i got another winston lithium back there which is tied in for it for a bit of extra juice so these are the smarts for all the vitron stuff for the sensing so these monitor temperature at the battery terminal point at this point very accurate so i can give a proper state of charge to all of my charges what this will do is it will give um voltage and temperature information to these so it knows what to put out while they're all on at the same time so that's solar if you know the solar's up if the sun's up and on my mains and the engine's running essentially all three will charge if required if the batteries are that low and amperage can go in it will go in all based on what's um what this tells it to do uh, like i said i've got the smart shunt over there which does goes into the victron color gx up there and yeah keeps it all out the way keeps it all tidy nice and neat and then obviously the control there that tells me what's going on and then the cymarine one right there tank sensors ready to go temperature on the battery and in the fridge the barometer i can see if it's going to rain or not now i haven't got the battery set up on this because i use that there we go i'm running the air conditioner right now so we're all good Thanks guys, hit me up for questions. If you got anything, you need to know something, you know who to call.